The main objective of this lecture is to make a simple model using AnyLogic Road Traffic Library. First of all, you have to download and install AnyLogic on your computer. Next, we will start with the software. As you can see that uh, when you open your program, you will see a welcome window. For now, I'm closing this welcome window. You can see the, the software is divided into different views. It's up to one's choice. Either you want to work with all the views together or you want to close them. It's up to you. For example, properties, if you're not interested, you can close it. In the projects, you can close every view. And uh, by using view, you can get it back. We need the project view, palette, and also the console, and many more. Right? So these are all the views available uh, within this interface. To, to use the library, which I was discussing about road traffic library, first of all, we have to start with a simple model. For that, just go to File, New, and Model. Provide the name for the model. For now, I'm giving the name as simple model because this is the simple model. As we are starting, location, you can change the location by default. It is saving the model in C. If you, if you like to save your model somewhere else, you can just browse and give it the location. And uh, package and model un time unit, I'll recommend not to touch it and proceed with the finish. Here. For now, I am just closing this properties view, console view, and the palette view. So simple. We just created our model named simple model. And as you can see, that by default, the main is created. If you are familiar with Java, any logic is based on Java. So in Java, we used to have a main class. And usually, we have a single instance of a main class. So this is the same main and uh, it is created by default when you create the model. And along with this main class, we are having a simulation class. It will allow you to create your experiments and alter the timings and randomness, many more. For now, just focus on main. This is your main window. Here you will create whatever you want to create. As you can see, there is a grid available. If you are comfortable drawing with the grid, you can keep it. Otherwise, you can simply remove it by going into draw, grid, and first click on this window and then draw, grid, and hide the grid. Similarly, if you want to have a grid, then go to draw, grid, and show the grid. I usually prefer to have grid, so I'm keeping it enabled. So, uh, as I've mentioned that uh, we have to create a simple model which we have created with the name simple. Now next step is to explore the libraries. Just go into view and check the palette. Okay. Now in palette you can see we have many options. Right. So start with the material handling library. These are the libraries available in AnyLogic. Material handling library, pedestrian library, Railway, uh, rail library, road traffic library, fluid library, and there are several other features also. So for now, I'm starting with the road traffic library. When I click on that specific library, I'm having the, the items specific to that library, which includes the space markups like road, intersection, stop line, bus stop, parking lot, and Interesting thing about any logic is that you can you can uh, the these libraries are compatible with each other. You can use the feature of one library in another library. If it makes sense, you can link them and uh, make the model of your own choice. So for now, I'm starting with the road space markup. Just double click on this road and see your yeah, icon is changed to a pen and then just draw a road by dragging the mouse and double click to stop. Um, yes, okay, scale it, fine. Right, this is the road. 
single road which I have created. Now here comes the property part. Go into the view and here is the property, enable the property. Now click on the road and see what, what we have here. We By default road network, um, it's the name of the road, is road. We can have it one way or if you uncheck it, it's a two way road. Number of forward lanes, number of backward lanes, you can increase and decrease them. And the median strip is the partition between these lanes. Let's give it a number, for example, two for now. You can see here it is. As the green color was selected, so it become green. We can have a texture using the same uh, palette, see the textures, and we can have a wall texture, brick, brick red. Okay, let's see. This is the partition between the forward and backward lane. You can change it to grass. I usually prefer to keep grass. That's it. Okay, we can also change the color of the road by just clicking on the road. And in appearance, uh, one more thing here you can see right hand and left hand depending upon the driving where uh, driving rules in the country you are in, you can change these uh, according to your desire. Lane width also you can alter. I'm just uh, changing the road color, make it textured, and I'll prefer the tarmac. Let's make it tarmac. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so this is a single road which I've created. Now I want to go back to the two lane style like this. This one I prefer. Okay, I'm keeping this road. Now to, to make a model in my model, I want a couple of road. So you'll have some space for your cars to move on. I'm I'm using another space marker which is the intersection just below road. Just drag and drop it here. Okay, now I want to connect these two. Bring it close and now you can see the port turn green. It means it is now connected. And as it is connected, it also uh, get the color from the same road, the which uh, which I choose as stomach. It is also topic now. Now I want more roads. Double click and make one more road here. When the port is green, it means it is connected with your intersection. Uh, okay, just drag it little down. Right. And I want another road as from the top. One more to go. Like this. Okay, now the difference is that there, uh, the, uh, this part of the road is having a strip in between. Let's make all the roads look same. Control, select and select. And median strip size is 2. Color is texture, grass. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm closing the properties for now so can uh, I can have a little more space to work on. Okay, I can resize the road segments. Must make sure that it should be green to connect it with the intersection. Right, so this is a rough intersection we have created. Now you can see there are many lines in the center just click on it this is our intersection and uh, these all lines are the lane handles whatever you want to allow you can keep it active if you don't want to allow this turn you can make it deactive just uh, okay zoom it up uh, zoom in a bit 125 okay now from this side you want this uh, turn right allowed and here, okay, I'm closing the U-turns for now, disabling the U-turns. It can go straight, go towards left, and from this way, 
no u turns for now okay then just disabling the u turns changes i made and i think it's it's good to go okay so this is our road network simple node road network using the road space mark and intersection space mark now the second step of our model is to create the traffic flow logic from where you want your car to enter and after entering where you want it to move and where it will be disposed as you can see there are four entrances and exits in your model um, let's say right and left top and bottom okay uh, so to make the logic as uh, the space is already occupied so i'll go a little down and here this place i will make the logic here 